first started taking a vision mod, making it a little chaotic. Then this wolf named Darling started taking over and starting making them a little house, thinking that they could have a second chance. But then she soon, she soon realized that they were not to trust. Even if they had five chances, they would never be happy and make anybody else happy. She started defeating them. This is the story of how Darling the Wolf saved Jamal. She started floating down from the high sky, making sure that everybody was safe, you know? She kept getting zapped by phantoms and could not move one way. She soon realized that the phantoms were taking over. She didn't have a fun time trying to get down to Jama. She kept avoiding them, trying not to take as many gems, but still accidentally taking them. She didn't want to take any because the phantoms kept taking them away from her. She would like to give them back to the poor animals that have lost them. But she thought as well they were trapped because the phantoms would just take them back. She, um, she soon reached the ground, just waiting to get out of here, out of the sky, and back to Jamal. She soon reached Jamal, but there was no one in the air, no one anywhere. She even looked in the diamond shop. There was no one there. She kept trying to see if there was anybody around. May have probably not have been in the shops. She soon saw a big phantom statue and started circling it. Then these two phantoms came out. They didn't seem like they needed trouble. She thought they were just nice and gave them a second chance. Then she went out of the plaza to go see if anybody was in their den. After looking for hours, she soon came to her real house noticed and noticed that some of her own stuff was gone. She told the phantoms that they could stay there if she wanted. They also were happy about that. They knew it was Animal Jam's fifth birthday that day, and so they wanted to take over Jamal. She started wondering what to do and paced back and forth, but no one, because no one was there, but no one could help her. She was alone. The phantoms were given a couple chances. They still could not do any good. She gave them ten chances. <laughs> None of them behaved. She started walking out of her house, going to head back to Jama to see if anybody was still there. She reached the plaza. No one was there. They were all still hiding. Phantoms were coming out more. And so she went to go talk to the two that she had originally met. She went to go speak with them. She told them that she did not. She started telling them that she did not like this type of action and would like them to stop. They said no. They were planning on taking over Jamal one day. She started realizing that she was in the wrong position. She tried helping them, but none of that worked. One day, she started walking in to the disco party where everybody hanged out. She started to question herself. She didn't know where she was. She sat down to, well, think over what she has done. Then she started transforming into an arctic wolf. She didn't know what to think of this. She has never in her whole life 
wanted to be an Arctic wolf. She was happy with the way she was. But now she doesn't know what happened to her. She went, she felt outraged and very, very mad. She started to head out to the phantoms, feeling more powerful. She wanted to defeat them once and for all. She came up to them. They had no idea who she was or what she was doing. She tried reasoning with them, sitting down and talking with them. Of course, they did not want to stop. She soon started jumping on the statue from behind, trying to knock it over, their home statue, making sure that they could never return, because she thought that was their portal of the way getting back. Oh no, please stop it. That's our queen. She won't like you when she does that, the phantom said. Of course, she didn't listen, wanting to get them out of here. She soon gave up, trying trying and trying was not enough. She realized that she could not defeat them. So she went over to the plaza main area and sat down, where I am sitting down today. She got back up after thinking about a while, and she went to defeat the phantoms herself. After defeating the phantoms, she returned back to the plaza, seeing that some people were coming up and greeting her. There were more people out and about around the plaza. She was happy to see that everyone was enjoying this, and she was thankful to save Jamal. Everyone is now thankful that she saved us, but some people are just tired of her. No one knows where she is. She went in hiding one day. No one ever went after her. No one found her. For everyone knows she could be dead, for that was over a thousand years ago. But of course, I still believe that she lives somewhere in Jamal to this day, and will forever live because the phantoms gave her internal living. Well, actually the guardians did because she defeated the phantoms. Put on this vest and listen, I'll teach you what to do. But did see I don't come from here, I just don't have a clue. Well then I'll explain so you can know, there is nothing you should fear. I'll try to do my very best, but it still seems so unclear. Here we hope to welcome spring and all things warm and green. But how can you even start with that? It's fine, I'll take the lead. How do I help? I'm no pony. What am I supposed to do? It all seems strange and very awkward. Don't worry, I'll help you. Winter.